everyone in this session we are going to see how we can clone a private git repository uh, in github on our uh, local system so uh, when you clone a private git repository git usually asks for your uh, uh, login id uh, so whether you have to log in using browser or you can you have to log in using personal access token so when you successfully log in so if that private git repository belongs to your account you are able to clone it otherwise you get an error that uh, that a repository doesn't exist. So the problem here is sometimes a developer has multiple accounts and uh, he can't log into all the accounts at once. So uh, we can we are going to see how we can clone a private Git repository uh, to our account that developer isn't logged into. So firstly, I'll go to CMD and I have this repository open. This is a private Git repository of the account Salesforce test summer and I'll clone the URL, I'll go to git and and I'll type in the command git clone and the private repo. So now it is asking me since the windows doesn't have the github credentials yet. So it is asking me whether how you want to log in. So I'll click on one using web browser. So I have successfully logged in now and my repository has been cloned successfully. If I go to desktop, I can see that the private repo is present here. So this is the private repo which we cloned, uh, right? Uh, so now, now since a developer can have multiple GitHub accounts, there is one more account. Uh, this is the one, and here I have cloned another one, the private repo YouTube, and this is a private one. Now, when I try to clone this, I'll get an error that uh, the repository doesn't exist. So you can see that I got an error that repository doesn't exist because the account which I'm currently logged in, uh, so that account doesn't have the access to access this private repository. So that is why I got this error. My default browser, I'll just log out, sign out from here, and uh, I'll go to my CMD. In the CMD, I'll, I'm going to type git clone the private repository URL, uh, the earlier one. And I'm going to type in the username just after the HTTPS and hyphen private at the rate github.com. Now, when I do that, now Git will again ask me instead of throwing an error, it will ask me how do you want to authenticate since um, uh, I have I definitely need to have access to this account to be able to log in. So uh, this uh, this way we can overcome this fatal repository error, repository not found. Now now Windows is again giving us an option uh, to log in. So I, what I what I'm going to do is I'll click on one web browser, and I'll choose my credentials for it, and sign in. And now if I go back to the CMD window, boom, I'm able to successfully clone. So this is how you can overcome the error that fat repository, private repository not found uh, without having to delete the credentials in Windows. So uh, if you go to a user account, so and if you go to manage Windows credentials, you will see an option to delete the Git credentials. So that can be tiresome. So instead of doing that, we can just use this shortcut, just adding username hyphen private at the rate uh, just before the HTTP, just after the HTTPS and before the github.com. So this way, uh, Windows will again ask you for the login credential and which you can do and clone your private repository from some other account. So that's all for today's session and uh, hope you like the video. So do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks.